morning it's barbara and welcome to another video today i'm going to be filming a weekend reading vlog and it is new year's day it's the first of january 2022 so i decided i wanted to document the first day of the month of the year and the weekend the first weekend of the year with a weekly reading vlog so without further ado let's get into what my plans are for the next couple of days so first of all let me just apologize for the wet hair but i've just had a shower i'm just out of bed walked novak a big 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 massive long walk today and um, i think we're out for just over an hour um and it was nice it's a lovely day outside and it's just a great way to kick off the year with a lovely big walk with him he absolutely loves his walks and then i just came home had about to eat and i've had a shower so it's around about 11 o'clock i think the girls are on whatsapp we're doing fire sprints at the moment my plans are reading wise and booktube wise as well i want to film some videos today so we'll go over that in a wee second i want to hopefully start and finish this arc copy of peter swanson's new book nine lives i want to finish it hopefully by tomorrow i want to get it read i want it to be the first read of 2022 and i'm really really excited for it i do feel as if this could be the type of thriller that i can sit and read in a couple of sittings so i'm really really excited for this one also i want to read my body pages and section for today of eye of the world yes i am starting this notoriously long intimidating series all over again in 2022 just by myself i'm not doing it with anyone i've sectioned it off over one two three four it's about 12 12 days and i'm just going to read i think it's about 100 pages per day so yeah i'm going to try and get through that today as well and then i am also hoping to make a start on the recreate book clubs brand new january pick book club pick lore um, this is with Becca and Ashley's Media over on Booktube. Um, if you don't know anything about their book club, they have announced their first three picks for January, February, March. So I'll link their announcement video down below and the Twitter just for you to go and join and the Discord as well. But this was so lovely gifted to me by Becca herself, Becca Fouts. Thank you, Becca, again for this lovely gift for Christmas. And I'm hoping to get into this as well. So if I can get nine lives finished today, it might be a lot to ask. I want to start lore tomorrow or tonight, depending on how quickly I can do this one. But that's my reading plans. I also want to dry my hair, get myself organised. Later on, I have to edit my January TBR Barb's Bookland um, video and upload it. I want to also film my All About My Book Club video for next week and also my Christmas December book haul. So there are the plans for today and tomorrow as well. And yeah, I don't think there's really... I would like to probably take my chunky books. I've got Assassin's Quest and The Final Empire. Brandon Sanderson, I'm starting this month as well for the year. And I want to section those off into days pages just the same as that I have done with the eye of the world so I might sit and do that later on after I give myself a bit of a break from reading but I think that's really all I need to say now I just want to come in introduce the vlog and yeah hopefully you'll enjoy spending New Year's Day and the weekend with me so yeah as soon as I have something to update you on I will come back
Hey dog. So quick update, it is five o'clock and I'm just about to go and have some dinner with Arn. I've just got my jammies on, I'm nice and cosy. Um, yeah, so I managed to read today's section of the Vampire Academy, which took me up until chapter seven. And I am currently on page 75. So yeah, very YA. Um, didn't really know what I was going into. Didn't really want to read too much into it, but it's actually really easy reading. It's quite young reading as well. And I'm here for a vampire story. Um, I absolutely loved Crave. We read that with Liv um, last month in a buddy read on Twitter and it was fab. I really, really enjoyed it. I can't wait to continue on with the series. So Vampire Academy for today is smashed. I'm really, really happy and I'm really, really enjoying it. It is a good, it's given me a good feeling. I think I'm gonna really enjoy it. So glad to have that done. See what tomorrow's are tomorrow and then I can update you tomorrow about that. And also I'm very happy to say that I read today's buddy read section of The Wheel of Time. And I'm currently up to page 109, so good chunk of it done today, really, really happy. Um, don't really know what's going on, um, there's a lot of characters to get to grips with, there's a lot of stories going on, there's a lot of people of interest that I think are going to make a real big, big, massive dent in this story and I'm just trying to basically work out who everyone is and what their stories are and yeah, very, 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 very at the start. So I've nothing really more to say. I'm just really happy that I've read the buddy read sections of this. As I say, I'm not buddy reading it with anyone. It's just myself, but I have sectioned it off over 12 days. So I'm really happy about that. And for now, I'm gonna nip down and get about to eat and then I'm gonna go back into uh, Nine Lives by Peter Swanson. So I'm currently on page, page I'm on, I'm chapter 7 and I'm on page 74. So really, really enjoying this one. Again, it's quite easy reading, fast paced. Peter Swanson's thrillers are roller coasters. So generally, I really, really enjoy them and I read them really quickly. So once dinner's over, I'm going to read for another maybe hour, hour and a half before we settle down for a movie. And I'm going to see how much I can get rid of this. But for now, going to get my dinner, going to read a bit, watch a film, come back and I'm going to read before I go to bed. So I'll definitely keep you updated. But I'm really, really, really happy already with how much I've read today. So yeah, I'll speak to you later. And one night, he goes out crazier than usual. Mommy gets the kitchen out to defend herself. He doesn't like it. Okay guys, so we need to talk about something very quickly before I read on. It is now 10 o'clock. I have just finished watching The Dark Knight. What a film. Amazing. Let's all take a moment to remember Heath Ledger. It's so sad he's not here now, but he was an amazing joker. Anyway, we need to talk about this book, guys. Nine Lives by Peter Swanson. My goodness, golly me. I am about halfway through part two and it's amazing. So for anyone who doesn't know what this is about, because it is an arc, it doesn't publish until the 3rd of March. Basically, I'll just read the back for you. The envelope drops through the mail shot like any other piece of post, but for the nine complete strangers who receive one, each of them recognising just their own name on the enclosed list, it will be the most life-altering letter they will ever receive. And it says on the front nine lives and then it says if you're on the list you're marked for death so no spoilers obviously i've just read the back of it basically we've met everybody that's on the list um and each chapter in each part is about one person so all nine people and then as the parts go on people get killed one gets killed at a time and then it goes to the next part which is then there were eight and then, then there were seven and then, then there were six and so on and so on. I presume that that's the way it's going to go. I'm only on part two. But the first person has been murdered and they are basically trying to work out how, what these nine people have in common to be on this list in the first place. You know, have they upset anyone? Have they got any enemies? All that good stuff. And the chapters are really, really short. So it's just really keeping my attention and it's just amazing. I mean... I have three other Peter Swansons on my 
TBR shelf and I haven't read them. I've picked them up in numerous charity shops because I know of the author and I know I really enjoy his writing but I've just never read them. So if this is anything to go by then I think I'll probably be picking those up maybe in February or in January if I can fit them in but goodness me guys I am going to sit now. It's 10 o'clock. I've got myself a cup of tea still in my Christmas mug even though we took the Christmas decorations down but anyway I love the mug but I'm gonna sit and read this until I mean I don't know I've, I've only read this much 75 pages I don't know if I could finish this this evening tonight before I go to bed but I know Rebecca is she's buddy reading this with me today and tomorrow and she literally is exhausted but wants to sit up and keep reading she's a part of three so I'll see how she gets on. I'll check in with her. We're doing forests here. One hour forests and then checking in. So I'll check in with you after this hour of forest and I'll see where I am and see how I'm feeling and then we'll take it from there. But I've just noticed there's a big tub of roses down there so I may crack into those as well. So yes, what a what an eventful Saturday evening and yeah, I'll let you know how I get on when the forest is over in an hour. Okay, I'm back. It is half eleven. I forgot to check in whenever the last forest was over, but I want to show you how far I am. First of all, I am on page 194, so I only have this much left to go. I don't have much to go at all. Rebecca has got to this part as well, and she says that there's only around about just over an hour to go in the book, so she's reading her, hers on kindle so it's giving you an idea of how long it's going to take you to read i think there is only 322 pages i think i'm gonna i think i'm just gonna sit up and read this i don't think i'm gonna go to bed until it's done i don't really have much more to update you on with it because i don't want to give any spoilers or tell you what's happening but I've been reading quite a bit and it is starting to sort of stitch together now. It's all starting to weave together. We're starting to understand the backstories of all of the people on the list and we are starting to see sort of um, tie-ins with how they could be connected and why they would be on this list. Um, also, I was really, really interested in one of the chapters. It talked about Agatha Christie, one of the characters on the list um i think he's called sam had grown up reading all of his grandma's agatha christie books and he alluded to and then there were none he felt like the storyline and and then there were none was the same as what was happening with the nine lives with the list obviously and the killings and all that good stuff so it's been really interesting the abc murders have been mentioned three little pigs has been mentioned there's been loads of agatha christie sort of um talk and you know um discussion so it's been really really good that way although the letter that i did receive inside um <clears throat> which peter had peter swanson had written for the marketing campaign had said that this leaned heavily on agatha christie and priaro so yes that's just a wee bit of a fun fact there for you guys but flying through this the thing that I'm absolutely loving the most is the chapters are so short, like literally they're two to three pages and I just feel as if a short chapter definitely keeps you engaged and keeps you wanting to read on and on and on and on and on and on. So that's what I'm going to do and as soon as I finish this book, before I go to bed, I will give you an update and let you know. But this is definitely, definitely sitting on a five star unless it goes downhill from here in the last 100 pages it's a five star so how exciting that my first read for 2022 could potentially be a five star chat to you later
morning just switching up the angle for this vlog update it is sunday morning i didn't update you this morning it's just around about half 12 i'm gonna go and get some lunch shortly here but i have been reading and i have been doing a lot of productive nice good stuff this morning so i want to check in with you on my reading because i've done quite a bit of reading and i did i did finish nine lives last night by peter swanson so yeah let's just talk about how amazing that book was so guys, this is my very first five star and first read of 2022 and it blew me away. I literally was voice noting Rebecca the whole way through this book. The last probably 50 to 75 pages that started to come together, you started to understand what was going on, how everyone could be linked and you know who could be the killer and it was just... It was just amazing. What a way to kick off January 2022. This is the reason why I read and why I love being in this book community, having friends like Rebecca who will body read something with me and chat to me and answer the phone whenever I need to speak about something or if I'm just too excited, she's there to voice note me. It's amazing. And I couldn't have hoped for better. I've been slumping terribly um, since I got ill um, at the start of December and I haven't really picked up a book and finished a book right up until I picked this one up and I am so glad I did. It doesn't publish until the 3rd of March guys. Please, 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 if you're watching this video, I urge you to please pre-order this book. You will not be disappointed and if you are, well, I don't know what to say. There's nothing I can do about it. But I do really think if you're into your thrillers, if you're into good short chapters, snappy chapters, roller coaster of a ride, everything in between, then please pick up this book. I have read Every Value Break by Peter Swanson and Eight Perfect Murders. And I read of both of those five stars as well. So I don't really understand why I didn't think I was going to really love this one too. But I really, really did. And I'm so glad I finished it. And it was one, my first book for 2022. So it's only the 2nd of January today. It's Sunday. And I've already finished the book. So I'm really, really happy. This morning I went on, on to the Va A La Long vampire academy discord that Liv has created for the vampire academy and i had a look and saw that the second day schedule had been posted so i actually went ahead and read it so i'm good ways in i'm actually on chapter 10 which is 120 page 126 so couldn't wait to get back to this this morning just got up and had a cup of tea and lay in bed for a bit and it didn't even take me an hour to read those pages so really really enjoying it i am starting to really get into the story now i really starting to enjoy the main character character um, and also her friend um, that she's guardian of and also there's a couple of love interests there and there's just a lot of fighting and vampire cool stuff going on so I'm really really enjoying this can't wait to pick this back up tomorrow for day three section I also started a brand new book with Rebecca this morning we had a chat over voice note again and I have decided to start Midnight Alley by Rachel Kane, which is the third book in the Morganville series I'm not very far through um, I've been editing and uploading my January TBR today so that's already live on my channel so if you haven't looked at or watched it yet pop a link down below and go over and have a look and see what I'm going to be reading but this is one of the books that I need to get to for January and again I'm body reading this with the lovely Rebecca so we have been chatting this morning I'm only on chapter three so page 51 and I'm just watching a bit of books and lala here I'm just catching up on some of her booktube videos over Christmas and her end of year vlogging just taking a break and have a quick cup of tea tea maybe a bar of chocolate and then i am going to get back into reading so this is my priority today obviously i still have today's section of the eye of the world to read but i'm going to keep that for this evening before i go to bed that's another 100 pages or so so i've been really productive i've also filmed two other videos i just need to edit those tomorrow which i had been putting off from yesterday so go me and really i'm just really happy with how i have kicked off 2022 in a big way with this wonderful wonderful book which i'm going to pass on to danny from danny's book world and then i think she's going to post it to shell so we're all going to have to have a really class zoom call where we can chat about this book because me and rebecca absolutely loved it so without any more rambling on because i really am rambling on i'm going to go and i am going to get my cup of tea and i will catch up with you whenever i have something bookishly productive to tell you but hopefully you're having a good Sunday and I'll chat to you later.
Right guys, so it's a good bit later on now. It's around about half three and I'm pleased to say I did manage to edit and upload my January TBR. So that's on my channel now. If you haven't watched it, head over. I'll link it down below. And I also managed to film three more videos which need edited tomorrow on my day off. So I'm really, really happy. Um, yeah, really happy indeed. Aaron's just getting himself ready. He's actually going over to Manchester tomorrow um, until Tuesday, until the next day. He's going over to a football match with his brother and his nephew. So I'm going to be in the house of my own for kicking off Winter Wing. Um, talking of Winter Wing, there are early sprints on this evening on Gabby's channel with Olivia at 9 o'clock our time. <clears throat> so I'm going to be joining those I'll probably close out the vlog just before that but I wanted to let you know that I'm making really good headway into Midnight Alley I am on page well it's chapter 9 page 195 so I think I could possibly get this finished before the Gabby and Olivia sprints for winter wean so that's what I am aiming for now and um, I might get about date for dinner and then come back up and need a, read a wee bit more. But yeah, primarily I would love to finish this one out. And then that means I'm not taking it into next week for winter rain. Because I do have a dedicated TBR for winter rain. But um, yeah, you'll find out about that if you're watching my daily vlog starting tomorrow. And yeah, that's all I really have to say. I'm just lying here chilling in bed. And yeah, I'm just going to get myself a, a, a drink probably. Maybe a Coke Zero or something. I'm going to get some chocolate and I'm going to continue reading. So... Yeah, I'll check in with you later on before the sprint at night. Hi friends, it's only me. So it is a little bit later on Sunday night and I'm just coming in to wrap the vlog up um, and say I've had a really wonderful time just sort of um, chatting with you over the weekend. Winter wing starts tomorrow and I am going to be daily vlogging for that so that's really exciting. Um, can't wait to do that. I have a really, really cool, really exciting TBR and I think I'm going to hit all the prompts for that so it's going to be really amazing. Um, as a wrap up to this weekend um i didn't manage to finish midnight alley i have about 70 pages left i'll probably just try and finish that tomorrow morning when i get up um and just get that and as another second book read for 2022 that'll be amazing again it's feeling like a five star so this can only be amazing <laughs> it's going so well right now um i had my first five star of 2022 in nine lives as you know and i've been reading vampire academy and i have the world over the last couple of days as well so i've had a really really wonderful weekend i've loved um spending it with you happy new year guys um hopefully 2022 will be all you want it to be and more and hopefully you know things will start to go back to some sort of normalcy but things are going back to normal on my channel finally back took a break for three weeks was ill finally feeling a good bit better and yeah i'm here to stay hopefully i am aiming for 1k by may and yeah, let's see how we get on. But I can't wait to see you in the very next video. And if you like this one, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon.